ever since I figured out that Jethro and Moses share the name Heber, uh, it's been on my mind. And I'm trying to figure out what to make of it. Heber means to join or befriend or friend or assist or a companion, a close friend, an associate which is appropriate because we know that uh, Jethro and Moses were close friends. And the way I figured this out was uh, Moses is known by seven different names, and so is Jethro. Yitro also had seven names. And at that time, Jethro converted to monotheism and abandoned idol worship. So here are... Jethro's seven names, and here is Heber. Now you can actually find Moses's, uh, or the the other six names of Moses, in First Chronicles four. And the way I found this was I noticed that two of Jethro's names are here. Here's Yeter and Heber. And then it uh, there was a source that says. All of these names here are referring to Moses, which I found interesting. And there is a hint of this. If you take, uh, so we see here Heber, father of Soko. And there is a hint that, uh, that this is Moses. If you take father of Soko and punch it in, here it is, father of Soko. It has the same value in Gematria as the name Moses which you see in red here. But then there's the source, and it's talking about um, the Judahite wife and why she's Ha Yehud Yehudia, and why, why she's called a Judahite. And this is Bitya. She went down to wash and purify herself from the idols of her father's house. So this is the woman who raised Moses. The Gemara understands that all the names referred to in this verse as the children of Pharaoh's daughter refer to Moses. And then the Gemara asks, Pharaoh's daughter bore Moses, but didn't she merely raise him? Rather, it is telling you that with regard to anyone who raises an orphan boy or girl in his house, the verse ascribes him credit as if he gave birth to him. And then it goes on to explain uh, why these names, or how all the names are in fact referring to Moses. And so we'll go down to uh, Heber, because he connected the Jewish people to their father in heaven. He was called Soko, because he was, uh, for the Jewish people, like a shelter. And then it goes on. What's interesting is, if you've seen my other video... Uh, the name Moshe exists, like we said, it has the value 345, but the name can actually be found exactly 616 times in the five books of Moses, which is interesting because 616 is the value of HaTorah and the Torah, which was given through, Mos through Moses, through Moshe, 616. And it's also the value of Jethro, which is the portion of the Torah in which it was given. So Jethro also has the value 616. So there's a connection, Moses, the Torah, and Jethro, all 616. Moses, again, the name 616 times in the Torah. But then, here's one I haven't shown before, Hagerim. So we know that Jethro, uh, in some circles, was considered the first Ger, the first convert to Judaism. We know at least that he converted to monotheism, which would be seven laws monotheism. Uh, there are some who say he was at Sinai. And then, of course, Moses was raised by a Ger woman. Uh, and he names his first son Gershom because he was a Ger in uh, Misraim, in, in uh, Egypt. 
So let's see uh, how this word, Hagerim, is connected to Jethro and Moses. It has the value 258, and you can find it four times. So the value, now we're going to be searching for the value 258 in the entire Tanakh. And 258 is found 616 times. Very interesting. So this got me to thinking about this exchange in Exodus 18. Moses went out to meet his father-in-law. He bowed low and kissed him. Each asked after the other's welfare, and they went into the tent. So they each asked how the other was doing and genuinely cared. Let this be an example and a model for Jews and non-Jews and how they treat each other. And if you're a non-Jew, ask how a Jew is doing today. And if you're a Jew... Uh, you know, ask about the welfare of the non-Jews, and we should be close friends. Thank you.